is Zamba. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch with me. Today we are here with the oh, final episode for now of Owl House. This is season two, episode 10, Yesterday's Lie. I am absolutely losing my mind. I just, I can't even fathom what is going to happen in this episode, where we're going to leave off before the hiatus. First up, guys, I want to thank the whole Owl House team. They have been doing a fantastic job. The story has been so interesting. The animation has been top tier, especially that Hunter and Amity fight. Oh my god, it was breathtaking. I can't stop rewatching it. It was so cool. And oh, I just, I don't want the show to be done in any capacity. I miss it. I really do enjoy getting up to watch this every Saturday. It's so fun. Though it's work for me. I really do enjoy it. So thank you to that entire team. And of course, guys, if you want to support the official release, which you should, of Owl House, go to Disney Plus and the Disney Now app. You can watch the episodes over there. And of course, guys, if you want to see my full uncut reactions to Owl House, Amphibia, Miraculous, every other show, you can check out my Patreon page. Link down in the description below to get access to that over there. But without further ado, let's Get started! Oh. oh boy. That's not my baby! What's the box for me, huh? Just cleaning up a little. Even this? I hate it! Everything with tinfoil swans. Mom, you gotta oh, know something's mom. wrong. Just looking for a fresh start. Can't tell me a lot, you know? Yes, it sure did. Oh, Mom's actually sad. <gasps> what? What? Wait, what is going on? <gasps> Do we use a Titan Blood? <gasps> Can Luce not... Oh. <gasps> Can Luce not get through, but she can, like, see, like, a looking glass? Or... Or... Oh, my God. Wh or is our evil Luce... Demon loose, haunted by loose. I don't know. No, so, no, no. According to Philip's instructions, I want to go back. Was go back. Blood. Yeah. I can't believe something this powerful was in the old key this whole time. I can. It's okay. If Thanos is still trying to get to the human realm, he'll have to beat me to it. Okay. Oh, interesting. Are you sure this isn't gonna like blow our faces off? Nope. Whoa. I don't, uh, um, can we throw something in? I don't, you can if burn up. Closing, pop. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa. <laughs> What is this? I think there's just other dimensions out there, you know? There's no way to guarantee. And I'm right back at the owl house? <gasps> oh, yeah, like a looking glass. I wonder if I can see you in here. Huh? No, no, no. Come on, let's see what I'm ah! Too busy thinking about my girlfriend. Oh. Oh. Okay, so there's a dad. Do you okay. need help? I feel like a whole new person. Oh! Uh, Double up again! I can finish up here, Mia. Thanks, Mom. God, that is so creepy. So, do you think that is a Grimwalker as well, or not? And who created or made them and sent them there? <gasps> you! <gasps> so you can hear me. You're from the demon realm. Listen, I just want I'm not going back. I, I won't go back. That sounds like Amethyst from Steven Universe. I just saw a spoiler from Monster Slayer Academia. Yeah, <laughs> me too, baby. 
Or you're just a chameleon. I don't know. The side eye thing makes me think you're not a Grim Walker. I'm gonna have to run again. Why couldn't this just work out? That's Amethyst's voice actress, right? I can't remember her name. Stop moving. You'll make it tighter. You're a demon from the Boiling Isles, aren't you? Mm-hmm. What's your name? Yeah. I'm number five. I mean, I'm V. Why are you pretending to be me? I'm just looking for a place to belong. Oh. I'll go if you want. Oh, wait. He and we can help each other. Today, I was going to tell my mom. Oh. Because of you, she hasn't realized I've been missing. So yeah. I'll keep living in my place for now. When I get back, oh. I can introduce her to the demon realm and help you find a place to live. There's okay. one problem. I need magic to transform, and I uh just use the rest of it. Oh. She might have left some magic stuff behind. Okay, we can try. Oh. What was that? Whose camera? What is going on? Um, oh, oh, I did not expect to like fall instantly in love with evil doppelganger V. Hexes hold them cards. He got rid of artifacts. I was wondering where they went. Huh. Well, they must have run out of magic. I don't smell anything. But maybe they know where to get more. Hello. Oh, she's gonna embarrass herself. I can't watch. Hi. Hey, Liz. Good to see you outside of prison. Come on, camp wasn't that bad. Yeah. We did have the best cabin. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I thought she went to prison. I was like, excuse me? Where'd you go? Uh-uh. Let me give you a reading first. I want to pass. You're running from your past. From a previous life that was not kind to you. However, the guilt and fear you carry will eventually catch you in a self-fulfilling prophecy that you won't be able to escape from. Oh, that's morbid. Anyway, I got the cards over at the Gravesville Historical Society. Oh. And I'll see you around. Oh, honey. Did you see the look in her eyes? I gotta find out where she bought those contacts. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Hey, forget what that girl said. I know what it's like to want to run away from home. Oh. I did the same thing. You and I are not the same. You and a mom have loved you a home, a light. You uh -oh. are good. And you still wanted to run away. No, no, no. It's okay. It's I okay. Didn't have a choice. It's okay. My real name is Number Five. I'm a basilisk, and technically, I, I shouldn't exist. My what? kind went extinct a long time ago. Oh. But we were brought back. They wanted to know how we drained magic. For many of us, all we knew how to do was feed. Oh. Some of us escaped, but. I knew it was only a matter of time before he caught us again. That's huh. when I saw you and, and realized there might be a way out of this. Oh. <laughs> Hello, fellow human. Ah! Um, skin's sure weird. Very funny. I resent you for running away. Wow. That was that you did. I don't know. This is a cool conversation to have. I like this. <gasps> oh no. Uh oh. What is all this? <gasps> oh, this guy's been watching me! <gasps> oh, oh. I did not expect to care for V and for this to happen. Oh my gosh. Whoa, oh, no. I can't believe it. Are, are, are you real? <laughs> after all this time, after setting up all those traps, I, I finally caught a living, breathing demon. Oh, boy. Witches and demons are real. <gasps> and they're all sent from Mars to harvest human teeth to power their time machine. No. No. <laughs> Bro, stop. Don't. No. Even if I get out, he knows what my disguise looks like. He'd out me to Camila, and it would cause her more trouble than if he just disappeared. V, you're giving up too quick. I'm being realistic. It's okay. I'm used to living like this. Goodbye, Luz. Oh, baby. V. <gasps> okay. What's gonna happen here? Camila no será. We're gonna go get mom. Go get mom to save your dude. 
child. I have to tell you the truth about the last few months. Okay. I'll tell you about a place called Boiling Isles. Wow, we're just you know, getting you into this. You and your Are you the curator here? Who's asking? Ah! A little birdie told me you caught a demon. I would love to see it. Wait. How did you know? Ah! Do you work for the government? Oh, I'm a veterinarian, actually. So, <laughs> the president sent a vet to study the demon's anatomy, huh? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Let me start by telling you the secret history of Gravesteel. Uh, oh, so this is where we found the murder board. Until tragedy struck. Two brothers were lured into a realm of evil by a real witch never to be seen again. Two? Okay, cool. Everything I told you was true. So that thing has been living with me the entire time? Yeah! It's just enough to believe. Uh-huh! Please, you gotta help her. Aww. Hello. This is all so confusing, but who knew I had such a strong girl living under my roof this whole time? <laughs> Let's begin our live dissection of this demon right now! Stop! Uh, the, the president just called. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know what? I don't have the imagination for this. I will be taking this <laughs> as child with me, uh. and you will never bother us again. What? No, absolutely not! I'm the good guy here! No. Yeah, a lot of bad guys say that. <laughs> He can use the time for some self-reflection. Mama? Did we get the cards, by the way? Oh, interesting. V, you have a place here for as long as you need. And Mama! take these. Blue said they might be helpful for Oh, you. cool. Magic! <laughs> Mom, you were awesome back there. Thanks for being Oh, boy. Cool. Is she gonna Bye. yell at you? to me that very pure love of her child is just so wonderful and the fact that she like basically like got scared of me at first but then immediately it was like such a kind girl was like living in my house like it's like oh my heart you're so sweet mama okay and V was by Michaela Deese I just had to double check that I was like that voice is pretty recognizable I do have to say I immediately like felt sympathy and compassion 
for V because I recognize the voice, especially with Amethyst, because Amethyst is just a little baby runaway, like, too. So it was really sad. Like, I immediately just connected with that character, and I was like, I already love you. You're you're just, you're my everything already. Like, it's just how this is going to work now. <laughs> so... Oh, I was not expecting that. I really thought that maybe there might be something bigger there. I did not expect them to kind of bond over their kind of runaway-esque-ness. So that was unexpected, but really nice. I thought Doppelganger would have more ill intentions, but it seems not. V seems very kind, just wants to get away from being kind of tortured living this horrid life of being forced to just eat, eat, eat and getting away from it and running away from Bellows trying to come after them. So really, really sweet. And I love that, like, I just want to start fresh. Your mom was just so kind to me that I couldn't leave. I didn't want to do it anymore, but she was just so nice and I didn't want to lose that. Like, so sweet. Can't blame V at all for that. But, oh my gosh. So, we can at least communicate to Mama, which is nice. We have not quite figured out a way to make a working portal. We only have this kind of janky looking glass essence. So, we must be missing something still? Because it didn't work. I almost wonder if we needed something to connect it to Earth. Or maybe just a stronger door or more wood, possibly. I don't know. There's something we're missing. So I'm assuming we'll try to figure that out. Bellows is going to try to figure that out as well. Because I'm curious if his door will work or not. I'm not sure. But along with Bellows... I think we finally have that final piece of the puzzle to figure out what is going on. So, I am almost with like 90% confidence can say that Bellows is Philip. Philip Wittabane. I I think I can 90% confirm that in my mind. But, the missing piece we were looking for is that Philip didn't come here alone apparently. According to the uh, town legend, Philip had a brother. That's right, a brother. He didn't come here alone. Weird that his diary didn't include it, but apparently his brother came here. His brother was with him, came to a magical world as well. I would question if maybe Philip was one of the casualties in the fool's blood stuff. But I think we can kind of tell what is happening. I think Philip took either the fool's blood, abomination, something to keep himself living and going. Um, and brother dearest didn't want to do that. Brother maybe wanted to go back home, went back home. Philip wanted to stay here. Um... Brother may have just not wanted to continue living and just lived out a normal life here and died of, you know, natural causes, what have you, lived his life. And that wasn't good enough for Philip. Philip wanted to get back home and he didn't want to stop getting back home. And now, Bellows, Philip, wants his brother back so they can go home. They want to go back to Earth, see Earth again, and he is forcing that by making the Grim Walker, which is Hunter. This makes more sense now. Because I believe that either Brother is out there, his memory cognition maybe is there, and he is still just holding, preserving his brother's, like, body, mental state, what have you, so that he can transfer it into Hunter's body, something like that, or he just wants to feel like he has his brother again, which is entirely possible. I'm not sure, but there is a lot of 
craziness going on, but I would assume the fact that we have a unknown brother of Philip implies that Hunter is probably a replacement for that brother. I would guarantee. Before, I thought maybe that Bellos just wanted to take Hunter's body and just use that to go back to the human world so he didn't look so weird. But now I'm thinking he wants to bring his brother back. He wants that again. He wants to see his brother. That is my thought. I might be totally wrong. Please keep in mind, I am running off of like, not a lot of sleep because I got up early to do this. I am just going off of my own thoughts, what have you. But I think that's our most plausible With the information that we have, my only other thoughts right now, because I have a lot of theories. These aren't just my main ones. My other thoughts running through my head is that Bellos is the other brother. So maybe Philip had his natural life stopped, but Bellos might be a brother. And brother, you know, wanted more, wanted to do all these things, what have you. And maybe Bellos is trying to bring back Philip? Question mark, question mark. I still think the uh, the theory that um, Bellos is a Grimwalker who was made after, like, um, Philip's new body, uh, whatever, brother's new body, what have you. Like, I still think the Grimwalker thing totally is, like, plausible. Uh, because, I mean, the natural life of a human is very short. And we've already got uh, confirmation from, uh, I think Ida told us that lifespans are still pretty similar from uh, witch to human. So, it, of course, it wouldn't make sense if... Philip was still alive. Like, I still think that's weird. Like, don't get me wrong. Still weird if he's alive. But he's obviously no longer human. We see the eyes. We see that um, kind of abomination-esque plant looking, like, going through his face. We've seen him ooze, even, on occasion. And he is consuming palisman magic. So, I I don't know how or where or why it is that way anymore. We do know it takes uh, the Palisman tree or whatever to make a Grimwalker. I believe that's on there. And the Galderstone. Uh, something from the seal, what have you. So, there's, there's a lot there. I... I really, truly do think now, though, that a Grimwalker is meant to replace one of the brothers. I just don't know which one Bellus is anymore, or is a Grimwalker of anymore, because I don't know if that's the original human body, but there's no denying that the uh, more pointy ears are not as pronounced as, like, Hunters is. Hunters are much more pointy. They're the same indent, but they're much more pointy than Bellos is. Bellos is are like, I would say, if a human had pointy ears, that's what they would look like, which is entirely possible. It's not that like uncommon. It's a little rare, but it's not uncommon. Like there are people who do have natural pointy ears. It's just a thing that can happen. Just a deformity. Not really a deformity, even just defect? Not even that. I don't know. It's just a thing that can happen. <laughs> so I think that a Grimwalker is meant to replace one of the brothers. It could just be Bellos getting a new body. It could be Bellos trying to bring back his brother, Philip. It could be Bellos is Philip and he's trying to bring back his brother who potentially died during the fool's blood incident. But I am not entirely sure. Uh, there's a lot of uh, interest and uh, 
craziness going on. But I do need to talk about Mama more. Uh, Luz getting through talking to her was really nice. I felt so bad for her when she had to figure out that she hadn't been with her daughter this whole time and that her daughter admitted to choosing to stay in the boiling aisles, that she didn't come home, that she admitted to running away from home. I think that is absolutely painful for any parent to hear that their child chose not to be with you, that they basically admit to running off and having, you know, this witch fantasy and mama realizing, like, was it really that bad with me? Was I really that horrible? Oh, it's just painful. So I'm curious how much of mama and V we will see in the second half of season two. I would assume we probably won't get as much since we know Mama's okay. Um, I don't think we're going to waste the rest of our Titan blood just going over there to peek over. But hopefully we'll get a little check-in on them. Maybe one more episode. That'd be nice. Because at the very least, they are a connection for us. So if we need them to do something, set something up for us we can get a hold of them, but our Titan blood is a limited resource. As you saw, the door collapsed in on itself and then went boop. So it's gone. Blood, gone. So there is a lot going on. This was a really good, like, mid-season finale stopping point, whatever you want to call it. It added a lot of intrigue. We finally have answers to the evil doppelganger loose, which is nice. We know Mama's okay. And we at least got to talk to her. So I think we can throw some worries out of our mind, but now we have a bunch of new worries and new things to theorize about. Especially now knowing there was two brothers. So super interesting. I really, really enjoyed this. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel exhausted from the roller coaster of emotions going on. That 360 of being scared of Evil Dabba getting loose to then loving V. <laughs> so I had a great time. Hope you guys did too. Please remember if you like this video to like, share, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you all later. Bye.